Hello guys, this is the Hexagon Zero, and welcome to another episode of ME3 Mondays. Alrighty then, first off, I'm sorry that this one's late, I'm recording this at 5 o'clock, not in the morning, in the afternoon, um, so it's gonna be going up around 7 or so, this, literally I'm just gonna quickly edit it, and then it will be uploaded, after it's rendered of course, and upload generally takes about 30 to 60 minutes. Anyway, this week I used the new Geth Trooper soldier. That's a weird name, Geth Trooper. You, never mind. Anyway, I nicknamed him What a Trooper, because, well, he's a trooper, so, yeah, anyway. Uh, I also made him a brilliant red color scream. Scream? Scheme! Because I thought it looked really cool. Anyway, this character, rather unique and, again, surprised me. The Flamer ability is the In a Pinch ability. It's the um, thing you use when you have nothing else and you're in the middle of reloading your weapons, which in this case are a Javelin and a Geth Pulse Rifle. And Fortification is your extra armor and or shields, damage protection and shield recharge rate, coupled with the uh, Stronghold Package 3. It is at a 30% shield recharge rate, which is amazing. And that also helps counteract the Hunter Mode shield reduced by 50%, because if you increase the recharge, you increase the amount of shields that can be recovered quickly. Duh. <laughs> um, and I decided to go for weapon accuracy. That way I can fire the Javelin at close ranges and have it almost act like a shotgun with almost infinite more power. And network AI, I teched for power damage, then headshot damage, and then weapon damage and geth weapon damage, because the javelin and the geth pulse rifle are both geth weapons. And then, of course, health and shields, health and shields, health and shields, and recharge, which the extra recharge here of 15% boosts it up to an additional 45% recharge rate, which is amazing. You're, you literally take cover, and then shields start recharging. If you don't take cover, it's like, I don't know, half a second. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. And I decided to use the Geth Pulse Rifle and with the Stability and Ammo Capacity mod. And the Javelin, since it doesn't exactly need any damage buffs, I didn't put the Extended Barrel on it, but I did stick a uh, Thermal Scope and a, a Clip Extender. Or Spare Shot Capacity Extender. <laughs> there. Uh, on it. So, and that does increase my power recharge speed to negative 132%, which is kind of bad, but uh, you don't use a lot of the abilities. The two abilities here, Flamer and Fortification, I'm sorry, uh, Hunter Mode and Fortification, if you activate Fortification, then Hunter Mode, you only get the recharge from Hunter Mode, because Fortification doesn't have any recharge unless you turn it off. And then Flamer is, you can just use that at any time you want. But, enough of the chit-chat, you guys can see it in-game. So, anyway, public, any location, any enemy on silver. Alright, looks like we joined one that's kind of already... Uh, we joined a session that's just being created, with pretty high levels in here. Um, almost directly similar to my shield, except with a build with a Geth Juggernaut. And there we go. Originally, I did use the Striker Assault Rifle with this character. I tested it out in a bronze, just I thought I'd give the Striker another chance. And I did it, I used it against the Reapers, and it was, it was pretty good, actually, especially against Ravengers. This, the increased fire rate uh, removed any, and the explosive power, obviously, removed any problems that you would have with Swarmers. Anyway, yeah, so I just engage fortification, then hunter mode, and what that does is gives me the enhanced shield boost, and hunter mode also gives me the ability to detect uh, things that are around the corner, or close to me, which is especially good when on this map with a javelin, because, oh crap, you can, it's, he's going to die from the flame, uh, you can fire through one meter thick objects with the javelin sniper rifle. Holy crap, right? I just see this guy out of the edge of my vision. I'm a terrible shot. I'm a terrible shot today. And I hate it when they do that. They just flip position all of a sudden. I'm gonna get all of them right there. There we go. So, missed twice. Killed them both with flamer. 
And on this map, it is a little disorienting, especially with the holographic around your HUD. Uh, but anyway, if there's one thing I wanted to change with this character, it would have to be uh, the hunter mode, the hunter mode um, range ability, because it's only a limited sight range, and on smaller maps that's almost, well, impossible to use. So I'm just using the javelin as a shotgun here, because I can just get so close with them it doesn't really matter that much. And with the hunter mode, I don't need to worry about smoke because I can just see everything. And then, of course, with the thermal scope, it outlines everything. Ooh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Damn it. It outlines everything in purple. But look at that shield recharge rate. It's incredible. as you can see here. And that shoulder shot should have killed them, but I've noticed that there's a little bit of an issue with um, the javelin. It doesn't seem to be getting the right... Oh, come on. Damn it. Oh, I'm out of ammo. That's the one problem with the javelin. It doesn't contain... Damn it. Whoa, where did you guys come from? A lot of ammunition. So yeah, if there's one thing I'd change, it would probably... No, that's a friendly. It would probably be... Crap. Ah, taken down again by that frickin' cloud. This is a hazard map, so it's really hard to navigate on. Especially when you've got... It's really hard to see, because everything's blue. And then that's blue, so it's kind of hard to see. And obviously I can hear it, but that doesn't give me much of a buff. But the accuracy, improved accuracy with this gun, essentially means that I can fire from hip fire and be very, very accurate. Hello? You're gonna actually activate something here, or am I gonna have to do it for you? But I know I'm in cover, and that gives me a um, accuracy boost as well. But still, he's dead now. It's just you're not gonna die from the flamer. Oh crap! Reload the javelin. Excuse me. Oh, come on. Mine. Serious? You serious right now? I am way off my aim today. Well, he burst. Ah, oh, scorpion, of course. Yeah, that'll burst him. Ah, uh, yeah. So, the flamer is actually helpful a lot in this. Because it gives you something to fire when you can't fire anything else. And that's really what a soldier's for. I kind of shot through the Geth Prime right there. <laughs> oh! Bull crap! One thing about the javelin is that it takes half a. Okay, never actually seen the. It takes that hit him. It played the sound effect, or her rather. Um, it takes about I don't know point six of a second of fire. Which essentially, you can hear it charge up, and it does this. That, I'm just spamming the mouse button there so it, it'll spam it, but it does that, and once it's at full, 
it will actually fire. But in the meantime, you can't fire, which in other words means that enemies have the ability to move. And that's why I tend to just quickly sight in or use it as a shotgun. Oh, crap. That's the one thing you this character isn't built for. Heavy, heavy units. It does okay against a lot of things just because of the rapid fire, but it doesn't do a whole lot. As you can see here, that, that, was, that was barely doing anything. Why do they just slowly roll in a direction that just... Oh, crap. Hello. Oh, this guy's taking a beating. Boom. Striker assault rifle. At level 10 is almost unstoppable. What I haven't been considering is that the javelin is able to fire through these, so I could technically fire down onto that platform from in here and be standing right beside the ammo kit so I have infinite, more or less, ammo. And whenever an engineer is facing you, aim for the turret. The turret can explode and basically kill the engineer that it's attached to without you having to go for a headshot or something equally as complicated to fire at. <laughs> I love hunter mode. You think you can hide behind cover? Nope. I can fire through things. Really? Okay, I'll take the free tech kill. I won't hit him, that's too thick. He's gonna set up. No, he's not. Heavy melee. Spray and pray. I wonder ironically works a lot better in this. Oh, another thing. The javelin with this can one shot kill a pyro if you shoot it in the head. Cause what the bullet will do is it'll pierce directly through their head and hit the canister behind them. So about a quarter of a second later. The canister will explode, killing the pyro. So you can one-shot kill a pyro if you shoot it in the head. It only works if you shoot him in the head. Why did I even bother to scope in for that? I have no clue. And that's one of the flaws of using it, because a shotgun has bullet spread. The sniper rifle has only one area in its entire shot thing that it'll actually hit. And I need to stop hitting the sniper button the button that I use to lower my DPI on my mouse when I'm using this gun. Especially because I need to adjust quickly, and I can't do that if my DPI is lowered. That was a crotch shot. Sorry about that, dude. Never shoot a guy in the nuts. Unless you really, really hate him. Like, kill him, hate him. One slight problem, if I do not lower my DPI, my accuracy gets worse, if not, is already terrible. I'm just gonna use this, um, turret as cover here. This thing is just getting destroyed! And you're mine. Load you! I, I can't fire through that. I can try though. And the guest primes. We have two. Oh, we do. The guest primes should be up front because they can take the most beating without having to. Ow. Without having to um, go down because they've got a ridiculous amount of health and shields. 
mine. Where is he? Oh, he's up. Okay. No, but we're almost all Geth, except for this... What is this? This is a Corian soldier. Oh! Huh! We're two Geth Primes, a Geth Trooper, and a Corian. Nice. I think I just found my episode title right there. I spent about 30 seconds thinking of an episode title, and that doesn't sound very long, but it it, it is. Especially when you're trying to think of a catchy title that people will actually... No, you don't. How is that an assist? Oh, heart grenade. Aim for the heart. And I would recommend the scan up method. That's a shooting technique that you can do in games. If you fire at... Uh, well, if you aim too low, scan up from... Like I tried to do there, but I hit the DPI button too early. Um, if you scan up from the target, it will, will... And you fire just based on instinct. I think it's 70% of the time you'll hit your target. Just because your brain is able to figure it out that quickly. Which I think is awesome. Brains are amazing. And you're also able to triple kill cannibals. Of course, if you only go for headshots. I think I hit the... Yeah, I hit the get turret at the same time. That was only 10. Unfortunately, it does actually lower... Your, um... Your, uh... Not accuracy, what am I trying to say? Words, hex, words. Um... Your actual... Oh, crap. Your damage... Because you do not... Words. Hex, think of words. You do not... That's an atlas. You do not... Get enough damage because it's going through an object, therefore reduced velocity, and therefore reduced damage, if you want to explain it. Incredibly physicky. So. And I've got the recoil dampener on this, so it has essentially got no recoil, which is awesome. I can hear the spinny, rotating thingy right there, and that is bodes ill for me. Luckily, he's already dead. Jeez, that was a hell of a slide there, dude. Just that guest primes can't be moved. There is nothing in this game that will phase them or knock them back. I don't think there is. I think there might maybe the missiles from Atlas's or. Uh, Praetorian... Possessed Praetorian rocket bursts, maybe? But I don't think much else. He's gonna hit me. I just love the absolute destruction that this fire rate has. And I'm, you really need to equip a um, an ammo cap on this one, because it is... The, the, the Geth Pulse Rifle, that is. Because it is just <laughs> pure destruction. Especially when you get up to firing speed. Oh, that was bad. I didn't know which target to aim for. So I just kind of fired. Have some flames, you! Um, I've never actually used a javelin against... Yeah, this is suspect that it doesn't do much. Ow. Ow, two Dragoons. I hate Dragoons. No, damn you, Centurion. There's always one, just sitting at the back, going, oh, I'm being a Centurion. <laughs> uh, that was my Centurion voice. That's right, sit there and take it. No, you... Ah, why was there an Atlas behind me? Why didn't I check? Oh no, it just killed me. Oh, come on! I didn't think it... I thought it was just going to keep walking. I didn't realize that it was going to crush me. Otherwise, I would have hit... Oh, damn it. Oh, well. I haven't finished a game out in a while, so I guess... You know what? Let's take a look at Cheese for Everyone and Mr. Onion. 
not a 100% extraction. I haven't gotten a non-100% extraction in a long time. Uh, I missed the end of the round cleanup. That's my favorite part, when you just kind of fire blindly into the crowd of enemies and hope that you've hit something that no one else has hit before. That way you get the full kill. Who's the other guy? Naz... Naz... Nazalin. Alright, I'm awake. Maybe I can make it. No, I can't. Alright. Well, 16 minutes. That's not bad. That means about a 20-minute episode. Of course, the beginning did take a long time, and I'm about to do the outro, so that's about 21 minutes. Meh. Alright. XP. Monies. Oh, I got second. Didn't expect that. Would have liked to grab, though. But, yeah, well, you take what you can get. Let's back out of here. Okay. I uh, yeah. So this character unit, I would definitely um, probably take a point out of. Eh. Uh, honestly, I do it out of fitness expert. Um, because health and shield bonus is great, yeah, but oh, it is a shield regen bonus. That's the 15, and then there's a, yeah, regen here of 10. Okay, so, that already has that. Uh, so it's really about 55, I guess, recharge rate, which is <laughs> a lot. Uh, so I'd definitely take the 6 out of advanced hardware and stick it on to the hunter mode. Um, range of vision enhance, but that's another 5 and 6, that's 11, and with another 6, that's 6, 7, 8. Uh, so you'd need another uh, 3 points in order to get up to um, enhanced vision. But I don't know, you guys can play with it however you want. I'd probably take one out of networked AI. Uh, I don't know, actually, probably out of flamer. And I'd go for a damage instead of range. And then that would uh, yeah, that would bump you up, so... Yeah, try it out for yourself. You you can see what goes on. And... Geth weapons are good for this character, obviously because of the Geth weapon bonus. So... Yeah, and Geth weapons with Geth, wep Geth characters fits. Uh, unless I can think of anything in the next 10 seconds, I guess that's it. I would like to thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, and all of that stuff. And I will see you guys next time. This is the Hexagon Zero, signing out.